Yeah, I, I, I'm getting off subject because we're you jumped and it just popped in my head. You've been, you're an airline pilot. What do you think right now with what's going on with? Are, are, should we be worried about flying with doors flying off planes, seven thirty seven max no. air, air engines blowing up and anything and starting fire? Is is are we are we okay? Because I'm still flying a lot and I yeah. hate flying. That's why I like yeah. jumping. I love being a ranger because I didn't like to be in the plane. I wanted to get the, <laughs> get, get me out of this damn thing. Should we yeah. be worried, brother, or or things are no, in control? Man. No, things are things are good. The um, uh, that that door um, with the Alaska Airlines, you know, jet that was kind of a, a unique situation. So I don't if you're not familiar with it, that there's a door that normally goes in place there if they have x number of seats on the plane okay. well they don't have that many seats on that plane because they do have a first class uh section so there's fewer seats requires fewer emergency exits so they put a plug in place of the door and um, boeing you know made a mistake at least on that particular plane um when they put the plug in they didn't do it correctly and so um but they figured it out and that's one one thing i, I will say about the aviation world is is every little thing on the airplane is scrutinized by the FAA. Like if, if I'm flying and the coffee maker doesn't work, I have to call maintenance and they have to put it in the logbook that the coffee maker doesn't work. And I have to write out all this paperwork. So when you're sitting in the back of the plane grumpy because the pilot says, Hey, we've got maintenance on board looking at something. It's usually just the coffee maker, you know, <laughs> something that's not going to affect the safety of the flight. But that's the kind of level that they look at our operations with. And keep it that level, because believe me, I don't. I mean, if the, I say, you know, I, I, if the plane's not going to fly, something's jacked up, if the little light's not blink, I don't give a shit. Put me back on the ground, get that shit fixed. <laughs> yeah. I'll sit there at the yeah. airport, because I do not want problems. It is. It's, it's, it's funny. A lot of, a lot of, you find a lot of rangers that don't like to fly. We hate flying. Yeah. Can't stand. Can't stand it. But I wanted to ask that because, well, shit, I got I got to fly a lot. Got some trips coming up. All right, Jack's on the show. I'm going to ask him that because <laughs> yeah. I'm already. Yeah, you're I'm good. good. You're in good. You're good. Okay, we're good. Okay, good. It's, good to know. It's actually right. <laughs> funny that Chris asked that though because I purposely printed out an article from Fox News, not about that incident, but actually something oh, okay. that I think is more terrifying, quite honestly. And this is from a month ago, but I was waiting mm -hmm. until I had you on the show because I was like, Jack Stewart would be the person to ask. So I'm just going to read okay. the first few paragraphs. There's this is one new to me, Jack. I don't, I don't know this either. This is, this yeah, is there's kind of, one paragraph <laughs> in particular that I think would worry any of us. So okay, uh, this is I'm from ready. Fox News. But, you know, put the bias aside because they actually quote the actual FAA's website. So FAA's diversity push includes focus on hiring people with severe intellectual and psychiatric disabilities. The Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, is actively recruiting workers who suffer severe intellectual disabilities, psychiatric problems, and other mental and physical conditions under a diversity and inclusion hiring initiative spelled out on the agency's website. And then this is the quote. Targeted disabilities are those disabilities that the federal government, as a matter of policy, has identified for special emphasis in recruitment and hiring. They include hearing, vision, missing extremities, partial paralysis, complete paralysis, epilepsy, severe intellectual disability, psychiatric disability, and dwarfism. Now, here's the paragraph right here that, I, that my bullshit detector goes off. And it says, I'm ready. the initiative is part of the FAA's diversity and inclusion hiring plan, which says, this is their quote, diversity is integral to achieving FAA's mission of ensuring safe and efficient travel across our nation and beyond. So I would like to know, how does hiring people with severe psychiatric and mental disabilities and physical disabilities help keep us as safe as possible shouldn't it i should need be to the hear best, your take yeah on this. it should just be the best person yeah. for the job where where is the, how how is that yeah. so uh, all right sorry jack that was your question I, and i'm gonna jump in on it because that's that's horse shit go ahead jack sorry no i mean i sorry, think buddy. you're saying the exact same you're saying the exact same thing that i would say um you know it it, it should be the best person for the job but one of the things i i, I read a similar article maybe it was a headline or somebody retweeted it or something about that very thing. And they were implying that the FAA was looking for air traffic controllers with those uh, disabilities. That was the implication that, that somehow it was somebody that was in a role wow. that was a very safety forward role, which is absolutely not true. I mean, I think, okay. um, you know, I'm not a fan of the FAA by any means. So I'm, th this may sound like I'm defending them, 
um, and I, I, look, I really look for every opportunity to tell the FAA where they're wrong, so that's not true. But what I will say is that the FAA is like any other government bureaucracy, and you have people um, at the very you know uh, lowest levels that really you know are doing menial tasks, and, and they're kind of important to keep the wheels moving, but they're not doing something in a very safety uh, centric role. So they're not the ones that are pressing buttons or on the radio saying, you know, you're clear to land. I think those people um, are highly skilled. Those people, you know, are, um, uh, there are vetted appropriately. So they, they don't have any mental incapacities, but, um, but, but yeah, I mean, you know what you said, Chris, it's, it's ridiculous. The way our, our environment is in society today is yeah. that, you know, if you, you want to prove how, um, how good you are, it's, we just say virtue signaling all the time. You want to prove how good you are by, look at me, I'm hiring X number of I'm, disabled people, or I'm, I'm hiring this number of you know women or this color or whatever. And um, I think everyone who is a professional wants to be hired for their skills and yeah. you know not because of who they are. You know, it's basically something that they can look at with pride. Um, and that's what people are missing. I, yeah, and, and I, you gave I, me some I, assurance there saying that these are menial tasks. So here was my take on it being completely objective. I, I do get the idea that, hey, you want to put some people in roles who may traditionally be discriminated against for jobs. I get, and it depends what the job is. But the mm -hmm. part, yeah, like I said, that paragraph at the end is when I just go, why do you have to bullshit us? Because it's saying they're hiring these people because it ensures the greatest level of safety. Yeah. No, just yeah. say that we're hiring them to push a level of diversity because there's yeah, no exactly. uh, qualification you could give me that that this specific rule would make things safer. safer. That just doesn't make sense. Yeah, I, I, I wish they would just say it like it is. I mean, just stop yeah. trying to treat us like idiots and just tell us really what you're doing. You're really just trying to push an agenda of you know being the most diverse and whatever touchy feely organization ever, <laughs> it's it's like the 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 most recent uh, report and you know I try to stay out of politics as much as possible um, for my own mental health. But, yeah. but when you have a, when you have a report that says that they're not going to uh, bring charges against the president because of his he's an elderly gentleman with diminished mental capacity, um, and then you've got his people saying. Oh no no he's not he doesn't have a diminished mental capacity. Okay, well then try him. I mean, like it, he either committed a crime, and you know he's able to stand trial for it, or he didn't commit a crime because he doesn't have the mental capacity. In which case, he shouldn't have his finger on the button for nuke. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. But they're, but they're talking out of both sides of their mouth. They're saying no no no, he can't stand trial or he can't be charged with this because he's not bright enough. He forgets things. And then at the same time, you know, he is bright enough. He doesn't forget things. I, we're, we're not idiots. We see yeah. what's going on. Just say it like it is. And they they do. They so much take us for idiots. And that's that's the shame of it all. And it makes them look yeah. like they're idiots, which they are. I, I don't have any problem sugarcoating it. I don't get into politics either. But people in D.C. Yeah. and holding those positions, yeah, they are the biggest idiots on the planet for the most part. In my in my opinion, that's my opinion. Nobody else's. Not Ian's. Yeah. Not Jack's. Go buy his book. You don't. <laughs> I, I agree for the most yeah. part. <laughs> but, but you know what I was going to ask? Well. So just to wrap up this thing that we were saying about this, where you said, you know, that the FAA is hiring people for all different positions, and I guess maybe you'll yeah. give some of our listeners or even Chris and myself. Well, again, like me, like, I said, when he read that, I'm like, what the, no. Yeah, air so, that, so he, some, maybe yeah. some we, more we, assurance or to be more level-headed about the whole thing. I want the, the best thing. person to be the air traffic control. I want the best person yeah. to be yeah. the pilot. I, so I what I was the, wondering, though, is with your experience as a pilot, because this, the, this article that I read has opened up a lot of uh, discussion on this. So mm -hmm. I would love to hear it from straight from you. I mean, do you ever feel like you're working with people in those positions, whether it's pilots or anything that you feel got there because they were filling a certain quota? Like, do you feel confident in the pilots that, that you work with every day? And, and has it changed over the years? Yeah, I, I will say um, whether, okay, be, I need to be careful about how I phrase this because sure. no, I, wanna, I understand I be, that you want to be, I want to be very, uh, no, no, no. I, I want to be very accurate because I will say that the, the pilot workforce in general has changed. It used to be a, 
white males. I mean, just going to say like that used to be just white males. Right. And then, um, and then you started having color introduced and, and this, you know, going back to the Tuskegee airmen and, you know, world yeah. war two, there were some of the most combat decorated aviators. Um, yeah. my grandpa, you know, flew B 17s, his bomber jackets up there in my office. They loved it when the red tails showed up because they were badass, they were be man. I, I read the history right. on them. They were badass. Really. They were. It, and so that kind of opened up that, right. And then you had, you know, female aviators like Amelia Earhart and you had all the, the women's auxiliary uh, pilots that, that actually, you know, supported the war effort by flying these, you know, um, advanced fighters and bombers and stuff into combat theater for the men because women couldn't actually do that, you know, so, so it's changed. It's changed over time um, where you now have more um, diversity in terms of skin color. You have more diversity in terms of sex. Um, we've got diversity in sexual orientation now. But every single person that I have flown with, that I've shared a cockpit with or I've served with, has been nothing but professional. At my airline in particular, we've had a lot of really new young pilots, and every single one of them has blown me away with how talented they are. Um, and we're talking, we're talking, I call them kids, right? I mean, they were, they just got their license in, you know, 2017. And I, I mean, I was almost retired from the military by then. It just says and, how old we are, dude. We're just old. Right. Today. Right. <laughs> but they're all very talented. And, and, and so I'm, I'm, um, you know, even though there's a lot, they make a lot to do about this whole diversity and equity and inclusion so far, at least from what I've witnessed, um, on the pilot side of things that hasn't been the case. And you, you asked about like air traffic controllers. The good news is I only hear, hear them on the radio. So I don't know. I mean, it, it could, <laughs> you know, I don't know who they are. It could be a dude in a dress and I would never know it, but they've all been professional. Um, the one thing I'll say is there's, there's a joke pilots like to say is like, you know, um, how, how do you like, what's the difference between, or what do an air traffic controller and a pilot have in common? And, and the punchline is, you know, if a pilot fucks up, a pilot dies. If an air traffic controller fucks up, a pilot dies. So I always take that approach. I don't, I, I don't listen to an air traffic controller and think they're going to keep me safe. I'm always thinking they're trying to kill me. And that when I was an instructor, <laughs> that's what I told my students, Hey, they're trying to kill you. It's up to you to prevent that from happening. I, that I felt good until you said that. Now I'm not flying. <laughs> I was like, hey. no, I, I, I yeah, I, I um, we had this on other shows. We've talked about this on other shows as far as standards and lower, you know, even the Army Rangers infantry lowering standard. I, I don't care who you are. You, like I said, you can be a dude wearing a I don't. Standards are the standards are the standards. Don't yep. lower them. Yep. You pass them, you're good. If you don't, you're done. You're not. And it has nothing. Don't. Who gives a shit about diversity? Yep. And, it makes no difference. Here's the standards. Make them exceed them yep. like your peers do, and then. Whatever happens, skin color, gender, you know, religion, I, whatever it is, it works itself out. But don't lower them to include the start or make some other whatever D, what's it, diversity, yeah, equity. Yeah. Don't make some bullshit. Like, just have the standards. And whoever makes it, makes right. it. And that's, you know, like I said, even if we didn't, Boone's black. Nobody, because the movie shows, we didn't give two shits that the movie showed him as white because it made no damn difference. Boone was good as what he did. White, black, red, yellow. Our Mexican made no fucking difference. We were all were there because we made, we, we hit the standards. And that's what we need to do. And we exceeded the standards because we stayed for so long. So I, I, I still can't get around that. And I'm glad you're saying that, dude. And, uh, you know, how you said, and I, I would have expected that from the pilot because you guys have huge standards to, you have to meet to be not just, well, aviation just to be a, a commercial pilot but also to be a fighter pilot man I, I want the best guys up there because you're gonna have to drop j danger close and i want you guys to know what the fuck you're yeah, doing yeah and you guys always are so i'm, I'm glad you said that and i hear that and I, I don't mean to get off the subject you're here though and you are to me the the subject matter expert on this so that's what i wanted to ask you um i don't know maybe that's a book are you gonna maybe that's a story for another book about maybe no subject matter expert and what happens if you aren't qualified to be the <laughs> nobody wants to read that's a horror that's, that's a, a horror, horror story. Story. <laughs> we, well we could we yeah. could do an air traffic controller horror story you know we could do yeah. something like that. yeah <laughs> yeah uh you know I, I talking about you know standards um i went through top gun with uh, with a, a girl in my class you know and i hesitate saying girl but you know um she was freaking awesome i mean oh, yeah. she was 
kicking ass in class. And the coolest thing about her was like, she never made it about like, look at me, I'm a chick, right? It was yeah. just, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the guys. I'm a pilot. I'm a fighter pilot. That's what I am. And uh, the, the funniest story I always tell this um, at the end of at the end of Top Gun, they have what they call a MIG killer debrief, where they bring in somebody that's actually shot down, you know, a MIG or, or an enemy fighter, and um, and they give a whole presentation on it. And I think for ours, we had an Israeli pilot come in and talk about, it, and he showed us the gun footage and of all of all the kills he'd had. And she sat down next to me in this auditorium, and she had a fifth of Jack Daniels. And I was like, <laughs> Hey, hey, are you gonna are you gonna drink all that? And she's like, what are you, my fucking mom? I was like, no, I'd like some. Can you share it with me, please? Um, so it was just really cool. She was super skilled. And um, and so whenever I, you know, whenever I talk about, like, you know, serving and, and different, you know, genders and, and race and stuff, like, I've, I've flown with them all. And they've all been fantastic. They all just, they're just, they're pilots. And honestly, yeah. the, most yeah. of the... We had some uh, protective security people when we were doing stuff in Iraq, and we started to get women on it. On it, and honestly, they wanted to be called. I don't call me. I'm, I'm a fucking woman, and I'll still kick your ass, and I'll drink you under the table. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and yeah, that's yeah. where I just never could get 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 in this stuff. I just couldn't figure it out. Well. Wow.